Okay, so this is my long time review of the Sackler Flotec tripod legs and ace head. As you can see here from the wear and tear on this tripod, I am not just kind of babying these things. I'm really working with them. I'm taking them out all the time. I'm throwing them in the back of my truck. I'm putting them on my shoulder. I'm hiking into places. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm typically out shooting three or four times a week throughout the whole year. So these are things that would come out with me a lot. So when I say long time review, I mean a year and about six months or so. Uh, I got this February 2018, just when this came out or just after these came out. And I was very excited to try out the Sticks as tripod. Um, as I'd been a long time user of the Miller Solos. And Miller Solos are kind of known to be used a lot in the documentary and branded content, that style of filmmaking, because they were very quick to use. You could bring the legs down and you could also get away with the same set of legs, the, the sticks, the tripod, the legs of the unit that you could get really low and really high very quickly. It kind of replaced if you were traveling by yourself or doing stuff with a small crew, needing to have a high hat with you, which is a funny name for a really small tripod, kind of giving you the best of all worlds and allowing you to get really high and really low. Now, when I saw these come out, there was a few things I saw about them. There was the things about how it kind of goes on your shoulder and how it kind of fits in your shoulder when you're traveling and carrying your camera with using the way that they've done the legs. And this is really nice. This is a great feature of these tripods. The other big selling point where these things are these little flaps here, these kind of levers for bringing your legs down. These are a very cool way of quickly allowing you to get the height of your camera up and down and having it at the height of your camera. That's a lot of time is the issue when you are operating on your own and you don't have other people with you. If you have a heavier camera on or even a regular weight camera, not a regular weight, but a lighter weight camera on your tripod, uh, sometimes, you know, if you're adjusting the height up and down a lot, it becomes a big pain if you're undoing all these different levers uh, if you're twisting up different parts of the legs to get it there, and especially if you're trying to lift things yourself. This has been a huge saver for me on many occasions. It's just the speed of this. So these are great. There is limitations and issues because the way it's designed and the way that the legs come out, it has a certain weight capacity. So if I have a very heavy camera on it and I'm pushing down on it, or if I'm pushing down on it myself, if I have a slider on here and stuff, I've had problems with the legs slipping. So they, they start to push in. So you can see that doing that there. Now they're rated for a certain weight. So this is normal. This, this being able to push that leg down, you can tighten it up. There's some things that I have linked in the description below that Sackler has out on how to tighten up um, these parts of the legs to make them a bit stiffer, but you'll never get it so you can completely lock it. There'll always be some give to it. And that's kind of one of the downsides you're getting with this. But knowing that, going into things and going into different shoots, knowing that that could be an issue, I might choose to pick and bring a different set of tripods, a different set of sticks that maybe can hold a heavier weight. Where these have been extremely great for me is when I'm hiking into a location, when I am doing a bunch of stuff, shooting myself on Bowmine Ski Hill, they're light. These are very light. Sticks. I can move very quick with them and I can still have no problems getting my Sony FS7 and my FX9 on this thing and having it balanced really well. Part of that goes down to which is talking to you guys in another video uh, about tripod heads and the importance of tripod heads and how do you pick different tripod heads. So on this tripod I have the uh, which was a kit with this it's the Sackler Ace it's not a super robust head, um, 10 pounds or so, you're kind of maxing out, I think, on it. It's decent, I mean, I, I'd use it because it's very light as well, but if I am traveling and wanna use this, I'll put on a heavier head. This is a 75 mil bowl version. So the coming off of here, the bowl is the part here in the bottom, 
where the, the head mounts onto it. So there's kind of traditionally in the film world, you have different sizes of bowls. So you can get a 100 mil bowl and a 75 mil bowl. Those are kind of two of the standards. And there's some different tripod mount for heads, um, but those are kind of two big standards. But what I would do in some scenarios is change out to my Miller. Uh, this is a Miller Solo or the DS20 head. That's a much rated for a lot heavier camera on here, but still a 75 mil bowl on it. And I can still mount this and fit this onto the Flowtech leg. So if you're looking at investing into these Flowtech sticks, you can buy these with different heads. You could use any head that is a 75 mil bowl you could put on there. So if you have a, a decent Manfrotto head that you wanna put on these sticks, you can do that. There are great packages when you buy these with a head as well, but check those out. Check out the weight and what you're doing with your weight of your rig and what you're gonna be primarily using on it. So some other kind of technical little things with these legs. I have had some issues when I'm carrying it on my shoulder, especially in the winter times when I have a lot of uh, jackets on other things of uh, these things getting caught on my shoulder and the legs coming out as I'm walking I've had that happen a few times not really a huge deal not a deal breaker for these things but definitely some things that have happened a few times I did lose two of these feet and I had to replace these feet and they're not cheap they seem to be come off pretty easily so to wrap up my kind of overview and my review of these sticks of these tripod of these legs with the flow tech a lot of people are making claims that this is the best tripod ever made i would not say that i would say this is great for a lot of my needs and does a lot of great jobs but i don't think this is like groundbreaking and and you know changing the whole world of, of uh, filmmaking and not everybody should get these these will fit the purpose for certain applications for certain people for certain styles of shooting, a lot of running gun guys, a lot of people doing stuff like I'm doing where you're going out as a one man band or maybe a small crew. These can be great, but as I spoke about the weight issue with these on how much weight you can put on the actual legs themselves, you know, I couldn't attach a, or wouldn't want to attach a, uh, a jib to on this. Some of my other legs I have, I can be going to a location and be putting a jib on it and have enough weight that I can do that with the legs. So. There's some limitations with these. I would still say if I was to buy these again, I would buy them again because they've been very useful in a lot of situations, but they're not the best tripod of all time. I still haven't found that yet. Maybe I don't think there really is like the best camera of all time. It's all what you're using and for what jobs you're using and what works best for you. So let me got, know guys in the comments, are you thinking about purchasing the Flowtech? Do you have a set of these Flowtech sticks? And what are your thoughts on them? Have you had any issues with them? We'll see you guys in the next video.